Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a how to sell on Depop as a beginner. Uh, just some like tips that I've kind of acquired, acquired over the time that I've been selling on Depop that I think people who are beginners um, who don't really know what they're doing and may find it pretty useful um, and also if you're kind of an experienced Depop seller or like an eBay seller or something you may also find these things useful as well um, but yeah this is just all from like my personal experiences and kind of my um, yeah my in my time that I've been selling on Depop so um, I'm just gonna there's no like it's not gonna be like a top five I, I don't know I'm just gonna kind of say a few points I don't know how many points is actually gonna be uh, but I've got some written down in this book um, uh, and yeah I'm just gonna kind of waffle on about that I guess so um, also first of all if you um, are wondering if you if you basically watched my last video and you're wondering why uh, my setup was this and then it was something else and then it was now it's this again the reason is because I basically recorded uh, like four videos before when I had my uh, old setup so you may see like a few of my videos are gonna have the older like the older setup because they are they were recorded a couple of weeks ago and um, before I actually changed so it may be a bit weird but it will soon all be kind of all the same but yeah I'm sure no one was really that bothered but just to clear things up if you were um so yeah we'll get onto the items uh, you know I'm kind of in like autopilot like a trip to the thrift mode and um, yeah we'll get on to the points now not items no so my first kind of point uh, as a seller or a like beginner on Depop to make sure you have good pictures so uh, good pictures are very 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 key because if you think about it when people are looking on Depop they are looking like either down their feed or down the explore if you get on the explore page or even when they search for something they're looking at just the small little pictures and if your picture doesn't stand out or your picture's got really bad lighting or uh, it doesn't really show your item that well then people aren't just going to click on it it's not like people don't just click on things um, they look at them it's like a website or like a YouTube thumbnail if people don't think it looks good they're not going to click on it so that's just why pictures are so important in my opinion and I think they just make the world a difference. I've recently just updated my Depop feed and kind of retaken all my pictures in here like over there in the corner I have an area where the lighting's quite constant um, so there's no like the lighting's not bad it's good it like and you know it just makes a lot of difference if you look on my Depop feed now maybe I'll put a screenshot up uh, you'll be able to see that my pictures look so clear all my items kind of look the same uh, not the same items but like the way that they're laid out all looks the same and I just personally think that looks a lot better and I'm always kind of trying to uh, find out ways and how I can uh, improve my uh, improve my pictures and kind of increase sales in the long run um, and yeah, I, I, literally the, the, a few day, a few minutes or like an hour after I actually changed my pictures, I had someone message me saying your feed looks really good. I like your layout, um, and I also had someone like a couple of purchases. So yeah, I think you know pictures just make the world a difference. And if you want kind of ideas of how to get good pictures, uh, what I would say is just go onto the explore page and look at what the people who get on the explore page what their pictures look like. Most of them will all be pretty good pictures. They will have like either a white background or they'll be on a wall or they'll have somebody wearing it. Only issue with me is because I have so many, if I'm wearing them all and well, a plus a lot of them don't fit me, um, I just wouldn't be able to get good pictures. So that's kind of out the window for me. Um, but yeah, I th if you just want kind of uh, ideas of how to take good pictures, as I've said, you just want kind of a clear picture or just go and look on the explore page, see what people kind of doing, get your own creative ideas and uh, yeah, that is like kind of the first point you just want to get really good nice pictures because that is kind of if people don't like your picture in the first place then the rest of these points don't really matter at all so second point is um, you want to have an honest description because I see a lot of people you may think this is pretty self-explanatory but you will find a lot of like twats on Depop like sorry to be brutally honest but there are a lot of like dickheads on uh, Depop who will kind of put descriptions and then not actually very accurate and usually you can tell by if you go onto their page you can see their reviews and people will be saying like um, you'll get like a common pattern okay if it's like one and they've got like 400 reviews and they've got one person saying it's not like how they described it could just be the person's like 
uh, interpretation of it but if you've got someone who's got like 50 reviews and like 25 of them say you know this person was pretty like crappy with the description then you kind of know to watch out for that person but if you put an honest description i always put a very honest description if there's a mark if there's a hole i'll take a picture or take like I'll show them or I'll make sure to put how like out of 10 the condition is for the item so people kind of know what they're uh, expecting when they buy the item uh, but a lot of people sometimes message before and say like how bad it is it can I get other pictures and I'll be like yeah that's no problem at all um, but yeah you just want to have an honest description because there's, there's nothing like worse than someone buying something like you just think, got to think about it in your point of view if you were somebody buying something off someone else and they had like turned up they said it was in great condition they had like a hole in it you'd be pretty pissed off and like you just wouldn't like you just don't want your sellers to do that it just doesn't give you good reputation and also if someone buys something off you then probably not going to buy anything off you again if the say if like the description that you gave was completely off so yeah just make sure you have an honest fair description because it will help you out a lot um so next is like a, you want to have a fair price so if you're selling an item it's like a one-off then obviously you can kind of like i have some items which are kind of uh items that you don't really see at all um so you can kind of give your own prices with that uh, sorry you can give your own prices with that and make sure you just kind of like fair with it otherwise you're just not going to get anyone to buy it also if you've got an item which is quite common on depop um, or whatever then you just kind of want to put your price similar to what the others maybe even undercut them if you want a quick sale but you know a lot of things do sell over time you just got to give it time and things will sell i think that's also another really big point is that a lot of people kind of put something up it doesn't sell in a week and they're like oh god i'm never going to make any money on depop but that's not true at all i've still got items that haven't sold from when i first started like like eight months ago nine months ago but I'd, like, it doesn't really matter to me if, if someone wants to buy them. Most of the items have gone. Like, pretty much all of the items. I've had some for a long time before. But they do sell. Over a period of time, they eventually sell. And, you know, it's pretty good to clear out stock. A lot of the stuff that I have, I've picked up in the last few months. Um, so, yeah, just be patient as well. And make sure you have a fair price so people will actually buy something. If it's, like, a very, like, rare item that's just one-off, then obviously you can price it to what you want like for instance when i sold my ferrari jacket i priced that high because there was none of, there was no other ferrari jackets like that on ebay uh, on depop sorry um and there actually was one on ebay for a lot less price so i bought it and sold it for exactly the same price as the other one well actually a bit more because it was in better condition but you get what i'm saying if it's a rare item then obviously you know that you can price it for high but if it's a an item that there's kind of a lot of then you make sure you just kind of price it similar to other ones or uh, undercut them so you can make the sale um, don't go pricing it high because you're just kind of wasting your time it's not going to sell um, uh, another important point is postage um, so a lot of people kind of ignore this one uh, there'll be some sellers who post like once a week or twice a week and that's fine obviously everyone's in different situations i don't work so i i don't like have any commitments like that obviously when i go to college um i'm there but then i can post uh, on the way or on the way back from college so it's no big deal so i personally post every weekday sometimes i'll even post on saturdays if i if i can um but yeah make sure you have good postage because if you look at my reviews i like don't i there's no point really but if you were to look at my reviews you'd see a lot of people say like item came really fast and people are just generally a lot happier like you think if you order something online and it turns up the next day then you're going to be a lot more happy with the item than if you have to wait two weeks for it um it's just common sense really so yeah make sure you kind of post in quite quickly and make sure also that the person who bought the item knows when you're going to when you're going to post because as soon as someone buys something off me if they're not messaging me before um, and they just buy it straight off i'll send them a quick message saying like thanks for the purchase and that i'll be posting it tomorrow or in some cases i'll be like i'm really sorry i can't post for a couple of days because i'm away and you know people are generally pretty accepting sort of things like that and um, they'd rather know than you just like long it out and then they'll message you in a week and be like where is it and you're like oh sorry i've been busy just message them first it's a lot easier a lot kind of better for your reviews which actually brings me on to my next point and my final point of today i mean maybe i'll do another kind of video like this in the future if there's anything else but my next point for today is as uh, my final point 
As a beginner, you kind of want to start to build up your reputation and build up reviews. Now I have like over 200 reviews, so I find that sales are a lot better. Whereas before when I started, you know, people are a bit more skeptical about buying things. Um, and a quick little tip actually, a lot of people kind of ignore buy, like they, they won't buy through or sell through Depop. They'll sell the stuff and then get people to pay all the money on, um, on PayPal. But the thing with that is you don't get the review and people kind of overlook reviews, but Trust me, doing this for a long time, you'll know. I will know from experience that having a lot of reviews really helps you out in the long run. People kind of more um, more confident when just buying now and inst like paying instant without even messaging you. So that obviously makes your life easier. Uh, people are. Well, people who work at Depop and pick Explore, they tend to pick people that have good reputations. They're not gonna pick a seller that is like a little bit off and on with uh, how they are with the buyers. Um, and, or if they have no feedback whatsoever, they don't know if the, the player, sorry, the player, I mean the seller is actually any good. So yeah, make sure you build up them reviews. And a quick tip, um, if you are selling through Depop, um, which obviously you probably are if you're watching this video, um, then make sure what I, what I would do if you don't, if you want to kind of avoid the fees. A lot of people may already do this and may know, but some people may not. You can basically set your pro, pro, uh, sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I just can't speak. You can set your item to a minimum of one pound. So what I would do is ask the buyer if they are okay with you setting the item to a pound, they buy it and then send the rest of the money through PayPal. I mean, PayPal Goods and Services is obviously what most people will want to pay through because you're covered still. Um, but I would, you know, if people are willing to pay friends and family, then go ahead, but don't kind of push them to pay, um, to go through friends and family because that just kind of seems a bit scammy. Um, and yeah, you don't really want to come across that way. Uh, but if you've got good reputation, that also helps. People will be more like, more confident when paying through friends and family and obviously it saves you money in the long run. Um, so yeah guys, that's kind of been my little beginner's guide to Depop. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like if it helped you in any way. Um, yeah, also leave a like and let me let me know what you thought in the comments. Like, just let me know like if it helps out or if there's anything I missed or anything you want to see in the future. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm setting a goal. I kind of want to hit 200 subscribers for my 18th. That is on the 17th of September. So it's kind of like like a month away, just over a month away. So if I could hit 200 subscribers by my 18th, that would be absolutely crazy uh, for me. And um, yeah, so if you are new, make sure to subscribe. It would be great to see you again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Bye.